single zero dollar in a symbolic gesture, provided that Ken Cal demonstrates commitment to eradicating the district's criminal presence. Today's final story is an unwelcome one. Walk. Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? <sighs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. It's not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say, and that, it's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? Uh, it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome. But the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. The scratch? You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? Can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. Hmm. You look okay. Go in. No messing around. Hey, is there something I can do for you? Because I'm kind of busy. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Hey, 
What's your rush? My, oh my, look at him, so handsome. Hey! Bomb together at the premiere. And here he is, with a new one. Seriously. Eh, total skeeve. Looking for Liam. Liam Northam. You know him? Could say I know of him. What about him? Is he around? Saw him drive up to the door, but that was like half an hour ago. No idea now. Linda, champagne to the VIP room, stat. Okay, just let me give three there, check. Busy night, huh? Real busy, yeah. You looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Looking you for Liam. Go? Liam North. Ah, oh, that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper? Uh-huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. Can't, huh? But know what I can do? Crush your skull like a can of Nicola. Think if you really want to say no. Use that skull sponge while you still got it. In the VIP room with some new output. Order champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. Nice tunes. Good work music. Yeah? Wouldn't know. I filtered out music and other ambience since I started here. Be deaf already if I hadn't. Carajo! Some people! Let's see what's here. What the hell are you doing here? 
Uh, you ordered champagne? Yes, and we'd like to enjoy it in peace. Oh, okay. Sorry. System said the order was still open. I couldn't give two fucks about your system. Get out! Get the hell out! Or I'm gonna call security. Oh, fuck. fuck. You heard what I just heard, No right? privacy. Huh. Guy's cheating. Bet my life. Don't know. I mean, he's up to something, no doubt. But that back there, that was about something else. Minor deets. Either way, she better keep away from him. She might not take you at your word. Mm -hmm. That's why I gotta clip the security cam footage. Hello? V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? Yeah, it looks that way. Caught him in the VIP room with some chick. Ordered champagne. And? What do they talk about? Can't say. Don't think they talked for long, though. Mm, it's not much, but it's enough. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like to fight partners, as you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. 
Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? History. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. Just think, could have gone diving this morning. 
A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? No point bothering about him. Bothering about him? Who knows how many people he's treated like Evelyn? How many more he has lined up? Just gonna let him get away with that? I don't want to kill him. Won't. Sorry, but... You can't ask that of me. Self-defense, that's, that's one thing, but execution, beauty, it's bad karma. You're right. Sorry. Uh, punch the ground floor to get out of this place. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Rick. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Hey, if it works, I mean, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. I'm sorry, sir. Could you have a moment of your time? Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM. And the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages. Or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Nope. First time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here, cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? 
I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous, craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Come on, call me a shithead. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it, I believe in you. <clears throat> you? <sighs> You're a cool, helpful, just an all-around shape, shape kind of guy. So, how'd I do? Almost. You, uh, almost had it. Catch you later, Brandon. Catch me? Why? <gasps> Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean... I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Manage that. Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips, turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Meaning you found Grayson? He really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay.
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. Feel like such a gunk now. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preemie tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. I'd admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! <clears throat> what the? Ah! You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some cardio! Say Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. 
Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. <laughs> happy now. I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. And <laughs> plan just might work. Maiko, I take it you're on board too. Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ah, I'll set to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. Feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But you... Ep, ep, ep. Not a word. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. V, everything okay? okay. V, v, you don't, you don't look, look so hot. hot. What the, what the hell, hell v? v? You, you like, like, sick? sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home.